Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I rebuilt the emergency brake. Um, I took some photos. So you're going to unbolt the drive shaft from the yoke. I need to move the Jeep forward so I can access the bottom ones because they're kind of tight. So pretty much all I did was roll the Jeep forward, but if you can't do that, you'll probably just have to raise the rear end up, move the axle so you can get to those because it's kind of tight in that area. <laughs> And then get ready, when you squeeze this back, a bunch of grease is going to shoot out. I don't know what you can do. Push it off over to the side. Get yourself a, a bungee cord. Hold that out of the way. And then we're going to start doing the the yoke, the nut, pull that out. Okay, so when trying to use a puller like this, it doesn't actually line up with what you're trying to pull. So, get yourself a socket. You're going to set the socket on the nut or the yoke part. Then this is going to go next. I'm going to get that ready. i got to move the camera and then I'll show you how I pull it. So this is kind of what it'll look like depending on what you have also. So the ratchet straps hold it in. And then as you tighten it, it's just going to give it that first bit of pull. And then once you get the gap here, then you'll move those there and finish pulling it off. This is just to kind of pop it. But since I didn't need to, it's kind of sloppy. Usually it's a lot tighter, but it's, heck, I could probably just pull it off without even using the puller. But that's just for video purposes. <laughs> And then what I did was then finish pulling it like that. But I won't need to because it's just coming right off. So to do this, vice grips, and you're going to pull off the spring, pull it out. Now be careful not to lose this off the top because nothing's holding the top or the bottom once you take that last spring out. This comes off. This drops down, putting it back together. There's a little nub and it's smooth. Smooth goes into, comes up. This side's going to go in there, but first it's going to slide up in there. Pull back the spring. And you're going to get your pads. 
And you gotta be careful not to drop the new ones. Goes behind. Next spring goes like that, goes in, behind. This one's a little harder, so really tighten up those vice grips. And there you have it. So here's the drum. As you flip it over, hold them. Yoke goes in. And as you're putting it on, I'm just going to rotate it a little bit. And there you have it. And then now you can adjust in there. And adjust those now to your proper... So, to tighten it up, I'll throw the screwdriver, set it there. And there you have it. And there you have it. Jeep moves, put on the emergency brake. It's actually holding it, but there's a little bit of play. Sweet deal. And then do some final adjustments. Hey, thanks for watching. Go check out my other vids.